Good, wonderful, beautiful, boop, morning potties. What do you think, ma'am? What do you think? How about you? My little escapee. What about you? You guys saw before when she was on haul her stomach ulcer medications. <laughs> I had my little medication station. And uh, some of you guys thought that was kind of cool. Well, we're pretty much all set up again. These are the medicines she's on that I can't pronounce. Keflexin, Tramadol, and Gabapentin, I think. This one is one to two pills three times a day as needed. This one is one every 12 hours, and this one is once a day until gone. So we have them here, and we have figured out what she needs. And we got our little pill pockets, because that's Memphis will take pills with pill pockets. She does not spit the pills out. She's pretty good at it. So that's when our little set up for that what do you think she's like i'm just so glad to be out of the recovery room for a little bit this is so nice yeah you're gonna hang out with dad for a little bit i'm gonna run up to the deli and uh go help him clean some stuff out since it's all closed up and go help him do that and then um, i don't know what else is gonna go on today we'll find out also, real quick, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for all of the amazing messages that you have left on our social media about Memphis. You you guys really don't understand how much it helps us and how much we appreciate everything that you guys are saying. And, you know, some of you guys have sent stuff to her. And it, we... I don't think I can portray it well enough on camera how much we appreciate you. If I could hug every single one of you, I 100% would hug every single one of you. It would probably take quite a while, but I would do it. <laughs> you can tell, still a little bit of a lack of sleep. We did sleep better last night. I have something coming in the mail today that hopefully is going to make it so we can go back to sleeping in our own bed, possibly tonight. We'll do a test and we'll see. But I'll show you guys that when I get back. Anyway, I'm on to the deli and I'm already late, so... I'm going to quit talking to you guys, and I'm going to go. Thank you. We love you guys so, 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 so much. You don't even understand. Taking down all the things. Look, Mike, I got your flag. This flag flew in Fallujah, I think it was. So correct me if I'm wrong. That one's coming home with me. So we're starting to take all the stuff off the wall. Those are coming to my house. Mom's going through papers. Mom. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I said you're going through papers. Hi. Boxes of all kinds of stuff. That's Grandpa's fireman helmet. That's loud. And he built those. That's 22. Ladder 22. Getting all the stuff. That's ladder 22. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Whoa, remember it outside. <laughs> and they're off. Chasing the squirrels, I'm sure. Oh, it's a nice day out today. The temperature here is starting to change. Pool's closed, but we might open it up a little bit later. Let the other two dogs. Enjoy it. I came out here to pick up more acorns. Let the other two dogs kind of hang out outside for a little bit. We've been spending way too much time inside, huh? Whoa, what was that? Did you step on an acorn cap? It's like, whoa, that was sharp. It was an acorn cap. So, came out here to hang out with these two girls for a little bit. Jamie is inside with Miss Memphis. And then she'll come out in a little bit as well. But we're going to run around the yard for a bit. We got to be outside, huh? What are you eating a stick? No eating the sticks. So many acorns. So many. They're ever. They're everywhere. Okay, I better. Oh, they're everywhere. I better work on picking some of these up. Check you out. Uh, guys, look at me. I'm getting around. I'm able to go potty. You're still not fully putting that foot on the ground, but we got time. See, we got time. We put. I put the other dogs in, so they don't run in. But hi, beautiful girl. Just like guys, it's so nice just to be out here and just enjoy the sun and. Kind of just take it all in. Yeah, you're already tired of being cooped up in that room, huh? She's like, yeah, I'm tired of being cooped up in that room. Mom, could we do something else? Hey, you guys start putting weight on that foot so you can heal so we can go do something else. I know you got lots of time. I'm not trying to rush you. She's like, I can, I can do this. I got this. Yeah? Yeah, you already went back in? But look, it's so nice out. She's like, yeah, well, I think I'm ready to go back and take a nap. Ready to go back and take a nap, or are you going to go that way? Oh, 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 we got toe touches. Toe touches. That's the first step. Yeah, your leg's looking really good. It's not even very bruised. I thought it was going to be way worse today, but it's not. It's like, I'm okay, guys. It's just taking it slow. We're making sure to give her every opportunity to drink water. So, like, we keep filling the outside water bowl with fresh water. We have a water bowl in the office. Giving her every opportunity to drink water, right? So 
So we're back in the recovery room. Memphis has decided she wants to nap on the floor. So I wasn't going to fight with her. I tried to get her up on the bed, but she wanted to be on the floor. She does use the the cone as a pillow, so I thought, all right, I'll let you stay there. And then I just had to show you guys the super cuteness that's going on over here. These two definitely don't snuggle all that often, but this made me pretty happy because, like I said, I feel like these two both need a little bit of uh, emotional support right now. They really can't figure out what's going on. I think today, like I said, we might, it's actually kind of cold out today, but we might open the pool and I might let them go swim for a little bit. And if not, I'll probably take these two by myself tonight and take them for a W-A-O-K-Y while, while Jamie uh, keeps an eye on Miss Memphis here. Oh, what an interesting turn of events, right guys? Like how crazy that we had all these plans planned and then now it's this. Such is life. We just kind of got to roll with it. Oh man, we've escaped the recovery room. Where's Memphis Belle? <gasps> See, look, Daddy put me up here so I could stare out the window for a little See, bit. See, it's this ham that tastes like potato chips. Just Whoa, say no. Potato <laughs> chips. There's a potato chip hand. She's like, hey, what is that on your hand? A potato chip hand. Okay, I'm not licking. Hi, Let's baby. I'll bet you hi. Don't yeah, get in her face. Table. Let her have her space. <laughs> So we've been trying to give Memphis a little bit more. Like I'm gonna sit in here with her while she sits yeah. up here. Jamie helped her up here so she didn't have to jump up here by herself because she's not supposed to. I know, Eleanor, here, you go that way. You can lay on this all day long. She doesn't get to lay on it all day long. You let her have her space. So anyway, we're letting her kind of chill out up here so she can stare out the window, which she loves to do. And I'm gonna hang out in here with her for a little bit. She's like, thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, you're beautiful. You really are. I had to wait till we'd already gone all the way around once because they were absolutely crazy when we first left. So because Jamie went out to the farm, uh, it got a little dark. You can tell it's a little dark out. I ended up deciding not to let them in the pool because I didn't want to have to be drying them by the time it got dark. So instead I'm taking them for a walk while Jamie's watching uh, Memphis. It's weird walking these two. I've never walked these two by themselves before. So this is different. But they're actually doing really good. Way better than I expected. I, there's no way I'm getting this thing on camera. But there is a baby skunk in the ditch over there in that little culvert. And he just came out and we saw him. No, we're not playing with the baby skunk. No, come on. Okay, let's not walk by that way again. Why do all the exciting things happen when Jamie's not with us? Right there at the edge of the culvert. See his little head move? Right there. That's a skunk. He's right there. There's a couple of them in there. Hi, baby. Hi, cutie patootie. Uh-huh, I see your white head down there. See his white head? There he is. Okay, we're gonna keep walking. Hi, cutie. Yeah, I got dogs. They don't see you, so we're good. All right, successfully walked past the skunks a second time. Caught him on camera, too. Just to prove there was skunks. Okay, can we go home now? Oh, look at you guys. The moon is out. It's so pretty. Okay, I should probably look down here and watch for more skunks and rabbits. What's with all the animals out tonight, guys? I don't know. Okay, let's get back to the house. She must be feeling good. Yeah. Because she's demanding. Yeah. I mean, Kira's pretty demanding too, but Memphis is like demanding you pet her. Oh, oh, like, all right. Hey. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Kira's uh, like, I, I just want some love. Too. What do you do with your little crossy paws? Uh -huh. Crossy paws. And Eleanor's over here. Don't worry, guys. She got snuggles too. And then she came over here and was like, Look, I got the big bed all to myself. <laughs> your eyes are closing. This is like, I might. Fall asleep. Did you get your dinner and now you're tired? She did get her dinner and she got her medicine. <laughs> she looks so contorted from here. She's like, yeah, I okay. Like a, yeah, I think that was nice. I saw them tippy tappies. She kind of, I think she might want to roll. She might. Up on her back. She might. She's like, I might roll over, but maybe not. Jamie went out to the farm. Oh, I should go show them what you brought. Yeah, as I say, you probably should. Okay, you keep an eye on the girls. I'll okay. go show them.
Look at all the stuff. So Jamie went out to the farm to help my mom and dad pick a bunch of Roma tomatoes because as you can see, they're red. He said they got like four mini bushels or half bushels or something, I don't know, of all of these. And then got one, we had one tomato plant that wasn't Roma's that somehow got in the mix. So one of these, and then this is corn that was grown at the family farm. We, had, we actually had some the other day and it was really good. And then he brought a couple of peppers as well. I think I might make cowboy caviar for game night. I don't know, but oh, they're so cute. But some jalapenos and some uh, cayenne peppers. So those are the, that's the, that's the harvest that we brought home. My mom grew a ton of these to make like tomato sauce and stuff like that. So, but now we have some as well. And yes, I'm totally going to have a toasted tomato salt, pepper, and mayo sandwich of this. If you've never had one, don't use store-bought tomatoes. It has to be fresh tomatoes, otherwise not worth it. We forgot to say goodnight last night. I don't even know what really happened yesterday in the vlog. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end this one right here because I got some uh, stuff I gotta do today. And it is game night and it sounds like people are coming over today. So you'll see that in the next vlog, hopefully if I remember to pull out the camera. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. Yeah, Nurse Kira is the best.